The question that just kept haunting me during my first year at Princeton was, do I really belong here? I went to a rural high school in Ypsilanti, Michigan. I was at least comfortable in being, I guess, sort of this, this big fish in a small pond. And at Princeton, for my first semester, I decided to just focus on my classes. And the thing was that I just, I was miserable. I was a, a 4.0 um, student valedictorian in my high school, and here I wasn't doing quite, quite that well. And it, there was a time when I actually considered transferring. So today you are entering a car design competition. And then I started getting involved with PEAK, which is Princeton Engineering Education for Kids. And that is a student group that takes LEGO Mindstorm kits and actually goes into elementary school classrooms and they teach basic engineering principles um, by using LEGOs. I on one side get to play with LEGOs, but I also get to, sh to share, you know, passions of why I like engineering and why engineering is so cool. Uh, the current upperclassman who was in charge of that group had told me, you know what, I think you would be great at being a leader of PEAK. I didn't even play with Legos when I was a kid and you want me to be in charge of this student group? I'm a freshman. <laughs> that was just such a huge vote of confidence. I really started to discover that what I really wanted to do was to spend my time, my skills, my efforts, paying forward all of the help that people have given me. And I finally started to feel like I actually did belong and had something valuable to contribute. And so I started to join other student groups on campus. Everything from the Pace Center and Community House to Engineers Without Borders, where I was actually able to be on the travel team to Ghana. In high school, I was really into civic engagement, and my, my philosophy in life is that service is the rent we pay for living, which is a quote by Marion Wright Edelman. I think that over the course of the four years, while I've kept to the same vein of civic engagement, I've been able to align my extracurricular interests with my academic interests in engineering. You know, when I came to Princeton, I didn't really ever think about what was going on in Africa or Brazil or India. And now as co-president of Engineers Without Borders, I know that what I want to do with my life is to enter that field of international development to really help propel our world into a place where everyone does have access to their basic needs of water, energy, sanitation, education. And I mean, I just, I don't think that that would have necessarily happened at another place besides Princeton.